Hi guys, Rich from Out of Smart. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Now today you join us at FS Cables, who are part of the show group, which is actually the hub of Rainbow Spaghetti. So today we're lucky enough to be joined by Daniel, who is their sales director. Daniel, come on! And he was going to give us a guided tour of their full facilities, their lab, and their four million pound warehouse. Come Dan, on in. Let's go. So as we come across the yard, we've got two yeah. halves. What are the two halves of the business? So on the left, we've got the offices for the sales, purchasing, marketing, and on the right hand side, we've got the main distribution center of FSK. You can see because I've actually got not one, not two, but three lorries parked up here. And you said there's a fourth on the way. Yeah. Yeah. So we, you obviously do a lot of orders. No, there's plenty. I mean, we do roughly about 120 orders a day. That's about 160 to 200 pick notes, depending on what's going out so on any one day. Notes a day. Yeah. I mean, we have, we have been around the building a lot today, and I've actually kind of seen the sales board and kind of figures you do in a day here, and it's it's a very active, busy business. Yeah, things are things are going from strength to strength, and definitely the market is booming at the moment, especially in the construction and smart home market. So we're coming into here and what have we got in here? So we've got the, the, main, uh, the main office for sales and marketing, purchasing. Marketing are based here. We've mm -hmm. got six um, that, that work from this location. Mm -hmm. And then the, the way the office is uh, separated Hi. out. Hello, How's it going? Good, We've got the- He's our account manager. <laughs> We've got the export team, the purchasing team in the middle, customer service in the far side, uh, and then the sales team are over on the green desk in, in the corner. Let's have a little walk around. So again, a few more meeting rooms. Um, our uh, marketing office is in there where we do some of the photography for products. Nice. And then we've got our export team. You'll see on the walls, we've got wall boards that are tracking our daily, weekly, monthly figures, number of orders that are currently in picking, currently going through dispatch. And then we also track the amount of calls that we're making inbound and outbound. Yeah, it's very nice. sales focused. At the end of the day, we've got targets to achieve mm -hmm. uh, and everyone's bought into the, 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 the one mm -hmm. goal. Nice. And you even got on this one here, we've got world clocks. Yeah, so absolutely. So we've got time zones, all the different time yeah. zones because of the export. Yeah. And we you literally have people members on this team, what languages can we speak? Well, we've got German, Russian, Greek, um, Hebrew, English, um, and, and the aim is we, mm -hmm. we bring in more and more people um, that can off offer yeah. other language skills. And, 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 and the other languages yeah. on. Yeah. Nice. Next. We've got a customer service team that focus on the mm -hmm. UK side. Uh, so we've got the wall got board there yeah. as well for monitoring yeah, for all their calls. calls. And then across here, we've got the, the sales uh, side for UK, and we're split into OEM and manufacturing, and then we've got the contractor installer mm -hmm. um, that you'll, you'll be dealt with by Lee, and then we've yep. got the wholesale side um, as well. And we've got a business development function that sits across Shell Group that's focusing on cables and accessories. And then, again, a few more breakout rooms. Uh, our business development team sit here, and then purchasing our essential function for us. Yeah, sales mm -hmm. and purchasing have to work closely together mm -hmm. if we're gonna do the deals and find the right products for our customers mm -hmm. and be able to meet the lead times that you and others need. And this is one of the really nice things about this office as well, is because everything's so open, all the different departments, rather than being closed off or in different yeah. buildings or in different cities, yeah. literally just We've collaborate all got to together, work together and stuff. And, and it's great because we can move around the office mm -hmm. and speak to those that we need to, to, to make sure that we keep delivering that service that's key for our customers. Awesome. Let's go on. So now what we'll do is we'll head downstairs and have a little look at the lab. So Callum, tell me about some of the stuff you do in the lab and what kind of testing we do. So we tend to check all our stock products, which we get from our big suppliers, mm -hmm. our Turkish suppliers, our Chinese suppliers. Uh, here we've got a two pair KNX, which we're about to do a resistance test on. Uh, we get our calibrated bridge, our calibrated equipment. We've also got a LCR meter for our capacitance readings. Nice. We also do dimensional checks with micrometers, calipers, and we use our microscope. Nice. Um, and fi finally, our big piece of equipment is our flame cabinet. Which is it a flame cabinet? I mean, it did remind me a bit at school with yeah. uh, the fume cupboards. So in here, if you can see, we have a calibrated Bunsen burner. Right. With a, again, a piece of KNX. Um, yeah, testing the KNX. And th this is a mock CPR ECA test. Mm -hmm. So against the uh, 60332-1-2. This is just how we replicate our test before we send it off to oh, a so, notified body. So they're going to do the test to give you the official rating, the official documentation. Yes. But what we're going to do here is we're going to prove before we send it there, just a bit, this is all we're, good to We're go. happy with it mm -hmm. before, yeah. So we're not, yeah. Save wasting money on, on tests that don't work well. Exactly we're actually that. gonna, in a minute, we're gonna set this cable on fire and we're gonna, we're gonna actually do the test, which is gonna be pretty cool. Um, and then coming over here, we've got we've got a, a microscope set up. So yeah, it's uh, already looking over at 
the tiny bit of insulation that you would see on that cable mm -hmm. and doing its dimensional checks for us. So you are using a microscope to do digital dimension checks to check the outer sheath of that K&X to make well, sure it's Well, th this is actually the thickness of the insulation, so even smaller. Wow. So we, we have got the, the outer sheath as well. Uh, oh, that is the inner insulation. That is the inner insulation, yes. And so the outer in sheath would be that. <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. Proper job. Just, again, it's just to ensure that the suppliers are sending what they should what be sending. What you want to do and it's meant to the quality. Exactly. And again, that. there is things, and I've seen it sometimes on mains cables with Turkish copper, making sure that that is meeting the correct ones. <laughs> exactly that, yeah. Exactly that. Because it's quite easy to go, well, it's orange, it's copper, but Definitely. you stick it through a resistance test and you, you can you, tell the quality. You, you know there. straight away. Yeah. You know straight away. Anyway, you want to should see we that? set a bit on fire? Yeah, that's what you're here for. So, Callum, talk me through what this is doing now. We've obviously quite clearly, we set this on fire and that is burning the cable. So, so what we're checking for is a specific length of burn. So it can't go so far down, it can't go so far up. It's, it's about the, the compound itself controlling the burn yeah, so and, that and its flame retardants. Yeah, so that cable's not literally been grabbed by the flame and the whole thing has just been engulfed in one piece. Oh yeah, the gas. That's literally extinguished straight away. Yeah. And you can tell by the, um, the spread of the burn that it's not anything too major. So it's a very good compound. Literally gone straight yeah. out of that. Yeah. Nice one. Yeah. Top man, thank you very You're much very for welcome. your time. You're very welcome. So this part here is over in the warehouse. Now, I've already seen here. Now let me tell you, you guys are in for a treat. They're absolutely in for a treat, but it's unfortunately no entry or five personnel only. Can I go in? Of course you can. Yes. First things first though, we're now in the command centre. We've got over here, we've got the dispatch office. We've got the warehouse manager, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. And we've got the guys that are, are coordinating the dispatch of, of all the goods that are cable craft trunking, as well as the cables. Oh, so they're booking in all the deliveries. Yeah. They're keeping the eye on the, on the lads packing the orders, making sure they go out. And I'm booking with the couriers. Do I envy you? <laughs> That's, couriers are a nightmare. <laughs> So yeah, next yep. we're going to go through into the main warehouse. Yep. Again, this kind of time of day here is manic, yeah? Yep. Is, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So, the, so as Absolutely. all the trucks are loading up, as everything's going out, as the me's of the world are throwing last minute orders on and the warehouse team are trying to get yeah. it squeezed it, in. The, the, obviously, the, the need to get goods out quickly is key and a lot of the customers leave it to later in the day. Yeah. So it's all frantic now. It's trying to get all the pallets and all the boxes on the, nice. on the lorries and out the door. Well, let's go see them. To get a good view of the uh, of, of the warehouse, let's head up the stairs and, like, and look I, over. I, just in case you can see that over my car now, we're going to go up on the mezzanine and show you in a second. That is one hell of a warehouse. It's big. And it's four, uh, roughly three and a half to four million pounds worth of cable in here yeah. at any one time. It's, the, the warehouse size is actually 55,000 square feet here. And we've got another 10 to 12,000 square feet over uh, in the offices underneath. Nice. Up here, we've got um, beta duct trunking. So uh, this is a cable craft product. And it's uh, one of your best sellers. Yeah, for There's cable craft. literally, at this place, there is beaten up trunking absolutely yeah. everywhere. Yeah, and this all goes inside control panels, and more and more of now, as I see in the smart home markets, being used in panels. Uh, Lighting panels, and even electricians use it a lot now, yeah. in fuse boards and stuff. Yeah. Uh, and you literally have, there is all the different sizes, colours, Absolutely, and th this is a, a new area that we've created to help with fast picking. Yeah. And then we've got overflow stock on, on pallets that you'll see as we walk around. So our stock holding is really, really strong now, and it's one mm -hmm. of our fast movers for cable craft. Literally. But if we head down, we'll, we'll walk around the, the warehouse and uh, yeah. show you some of the cables that we have. Awesome. Yeah, so we'll have a little look at some of the pallets that have just been burnt, ready to go out to our customers. Yeah, so the protection you put on these is mint. So to save them getting damaged. Yeah, Oh, absolutely. that looks like a familiar pallet there. Yeah, so we're going to have a mixture of data cables, pink speaker cable. The, I'm sure there's some Rayburn spaghetti at the bottom uh, uh, as well. Yeah, no, they've got all the, well, the speaker lines and the Cat 6 here there. Yeah. It is. Yeah. So we'll head over to the, um, the winding area. We've got 13 machines. Uh, the guys are still finishing off a few of the orders this from is earlier. The, this is the manic part of the day, you see. This is literally getting everything. You can see all the delivery notes yeah. waiting to go out with the cables. And they're winding uh, off cut lengths of cable. Yeah. 
So probably a customer's asked for 30 or 40 meters and we're cutting that down to size so that the, the, the customer doesn't have to take any additional wastage. We always try and make sure that the, the reels that we send out mm -hmm. are either new plywood or, or new cardboard. And then any, anything that we don't use gets recycled. So 89% of what we have here, as in the, the plywood drums or, or old even plywood, yeah, or clear cardboard, up. we will make sure that we send that for recycling. Nice. Let's have a little wander around. So yeah, here again, the, just the aisles and the aisles of cable. It's, it, it, how many different cables do you hold in here? So we've got about three and a half thousand on the shelf. Three and a half uh, thousand. It's all separated in between sort of PVC, low smoke, mm -hmm. halogen free, duct grade and armor types. Ready here. some K and X off? Uh, actually, I think this is the... Locks on tree? Yeah, I think this is a locks on tree cable. So these guys actually manufacture the locks on tree cable for locks yeah. on? Yeah. Nice. And we'll be cutting that down into lengths and it'll be going out to, to, tonight, ready for install tomorrow. Unbelievable. About half past five. Half past five and orders are still going out the door. Yeah. More speaker wires, cat sixes. Yeah. And the machines, we've got some of the more automated ones, so we can pl sort of program in exactly what we want to cut and then the, the uh, operator can guide that. Mm -hmm. and, and, it, and it's a quicker and faster process. We've got some of the bigger machines that can lift up to two and a half tons. You've got this one, that's a... It's a big cable, yeah. it's not actually an armoured cable, what's this one? Uh, it's actually a uh, fire resistant fibre. It's, uh, it is armoured, but it's corrugated rather yeah. than your standard steel wire or braid. FP400. That would be the armor. So this is this is fiber. Oh, so this yeah. is you know, we've got a unique Don't product. Know, that's here. the copper version. Yeah, so yeah. this is the uh, the Prismium product that we've got exclusivity for in the UK. Nice. And then we do a mixture of uh, tri-rated cables now for panel mm -hmm. wiring, as well as uh, silicons and uh, 2491Bs. We have a wide range that sort of caters for the OEM market, the construction market, the marine market, the oil and gas, smart home. Literally, and many, many more. Literally all of them. And then this one, we actually, I was doing a podcast for you guys today, yep. and we mentioned this on the podcast. This part on the end here is for customers. Yeah, so at the bottom there, we, we do a lot of call off orders where we hold stock for mm -hmm. customers and guarantees the consistency of product, the uh, service element of mm -hmm. it, and when they want it, they get it. And we only build them when they take the cable. Nice. Yeah, which is Proper great. job. All of the other products down here are, you know, you take here, uh, it's Cat6, uh, it's uh, an FTP product, mm -hmm. uh, armored. And what we make sure we do is, is our armoured and duct grade cables are, are really armoured and duct grade. You know, there's that lots of, of, of thin cables in the market. It's super stiff. Oh, yeah, that yeah. Is. You could drive a tank over that. It's great. I'll hold you to that one yeah. day. Hi, guys. Rich from Out of Smart. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Again, we have more Cat5, Cat6. Uh, some of the sort of 8723 Belden cables, again, in armoured and duct grade versions. And we're, we're very big on being the specialist in the market. And a lot of that's around the outdoor grade and duct grade and armoured versions. Well, FS Cables actually, or as you stood for. Flexible and specialist cables. Exactly yeah. that, so. As we go around here, you'll see a mixture of different uh, styles. So we just, have, but it's never ending. Yeah, it's just loads. It's never ending. You know, we're now stocking some 5308 cables, which are instrumentation for your sort of general contractor. Mm -hmm. um, we have a range of uh, fire cables, which you can see here, the red cables, which are fire tough data, fire yep. tough coax. Uh, we've got the exclusivity of Draco and Prismium for the UK uh, market as well. Um, mixture of telephone cables and, and general signal and control. Uh, and then... I can see there, you've got yeah. a big 40 pair of nerve cable. Yeah. So that'd be for telephone distribution. Absolutely, and even in the armoured uh, versions, we, we got up to 100 pair. Yeah, CW 1308, 50 yeah. pair, which is standard telephone yeah. cable. And then... We try and keep product in pack sizes because it's quicker and easier to mm -hmm. distribute, but obviously you've seen it, we cut to length. Here we've got a, a lot of the sort of uh, true sound speaker cables, the pink cables, and you'll see. Now this is an I am ready for. This is the speaker cables and also all the Cat 6 air cables. Yeah. So this ones are all, uh, these ones here are all to B2CA, so B class. Yeah. And as you can see, we've got plenty of it. Literally, absolutely loads. This is a great thing because we can order, and as a business, we order up until Four, five o'clock, pushing it at five. Four, four's great. Four, four's great. Four's great. Four's great. So we won't promise the anything over there. four, but if we can, we will. But and that's, can the, will. And that's the motto. Um, and then, and then, because you've literally got it here, you don't mean to order it in, you've not got supply, I'm sure we've got supply chain issues, but you're mitigating yeah. those as much as possible for your customers. Absolutely. And if we move down a couple of aisles, you can see the, uh, we've got Cat 6, Cat 7. So all of this is Cat 7. Cat 7. top here. Yeah, so uh, our export team do a lot of um, 
bigger, I say, projects overseas, and a lot of what we do, we have to make sure it's export packed. Software drums that are fully lagged, which are strapped and chocked in on the pallets, so we can ship this anywhere in the world and be comfortable that it'll get there in one piece. Mm -hmm. Sea freight, air freight. Sea freight, air freight, yeah. We've done 20 tonnes overnight to Johannesburg before and to Malaysia. No way. 20 tonnes, yeah. Emergency um, project. Yeah, exactly. We did a lot for the World Cup back in 2010 where we were air freighting 20 tonnes probably every month. Um, for, and that was all designed for the, nice, uh, yeah, nice for the underground off. metro system they were doing there. So, yeah, this is more export. Um, but then behind you. Behind me. You've got the rainbow spaghetti. We've got the rainbow spaghetti. So this is where all the cat six comes from that we use. So you can see here, I mean, we've got the stickers on the boxes to come in this outer box to protect the inner glossy box. Yeah. Um, and then there we've got purple one I can feel from the sheath there. Because to do these in both a PVC and the low smoke variety. Absolutely. So it, we can meet those commercial issues. But we've got, we've got the purple there. We've got some black over here. We've got some pink. Pink. We've green. got green. We've got yellow. Orange. We've got orange. And again, you do these in a Cat 5. So that's Cat yeah. 5 there, which we don't yeah. really use ourselves. But there's Cat 5. Cat, cat six, 6 in both a PVC and a low smoke variety. Yeah, loads. Loads of stock. Loads of stock. Loads of stock. So you can see here, this is the Cat 6 we use, which is HD Base T certified. It's CPR compliant. Yeah. And we've got the full rainbow spaghetti range. Thanks awesome. very much for uh, coming right, to what, see what a FS Cables today. This has today. been absolutely awesome. And well, thank you very much for your time, Daniel. It's been. Uh, Great to come round. Pleasure. Great to see how much beta duct you've got. We've got loads. Uh, and, and then all the rest of it. It's been absolutely mint. So, yeah, that's been the guided tour around FS Cables. We're actually going to do Cable Craft because it's another location yep. tomorrow. And we're going to go do the full tour around there. Uh, but today, yep. uh, myself, Daniel, and Mark from Akin have done a podcast discussing this, your business operations, and show group, group all together. Yep. Awesome. See you on the next one.